Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about The Sea Beast, a Netflix animated movie. Um, it's a movie directed by Chris Williams, actors starring in it are. Yeah, doing the voices. Um, you got Carl Irving, um, Zara's um, Angel Hader, Jared um, Harris, um, Marie... Marianne Jean Batiste and Dan Stevens, many others to the cast here. In the movie here, you have these sea creatures, and you have a, a war between the sea creatures and the humans of Earth. Because there's been these stories going on for centuries that these sea creatures are evil, that they come after your children, they eat your babies, they come on land and destroy cities, I and mean, they do a lot of horrible, horrible things. And it's up to these brave hunters to go out there in the, in the middle of the sea to kill these beasts to keep us safe. And you have this, this um, Carl Urban, who was the voice of Jacob, who, who um, whose whose family was killed because they were hunters as well. He was abandoned and taken in by um by Captain Crow, who's voiced by Jerry Harris, taken in by him, kind of raised as his own son. He must go after these beasts. He must kill his kill his family. And then you have Maisie, who's voiced by um Zara's um Angel Hater. Her parents also were hunters, and they were killed by these, by these beasts. And she wants to go out on an adventure and be a, a, a monster hunter because she read all these books about, about, about these books about, about these monster, about these monster, monster hunters. She goes, she got this whole fantasy in her head about how she's going to live with them, and she's going, they're going to kill monsters together and save the world. She right now, right now, she's living in the orphanage, or in the orphanage. So because of her willingness to, to, to go out to explore, she and she ends up meeting up with, with, with Jacob, and then they start to, they start to realize that maybe. These monsters aren't evil. Maybe they're not bad. Maybe we'd be fighting this, this long war. So many people have died and sacrificed for no reason at all. Now, before I get into it, before I get into this, though, let's start with the bad. The bad part about this movie is, I don't have anything, a lot of things bad to say about the movie is, that, that I mean, that, when you, you find out the truth about that the monsters aren't really evil, okay, this is, that's a spoiler, I guess, but you can figure you figure that out from the start. But because you are you already you can kind of get where this movie's gonna go. If you've seen How to Train Your Dragon, it kind of follows that type of tone. Like, they thought the monsters, they thought the dragons were evil. They thought they were mean. They found out the truth that because of Toothless, they find out. I mean, because um, because of Hiccup, they find out these monsters, the dragons, these monsters, these creatures aren't really that bad. They're actually, actually quite nice and pretty, pretty good. It's just simple, just simple, trying to live their lives. And, and the same thing here. You got Maisie. Wanted to kill these monsters because she felt as though she has to because to get revenge for her family and realizing that when a monster actually saves her, she starts she start realizing maybe they're not that bad. And she's trying to find out the truth and what's going on and why we asked them in the first place. So because so it's not really a bad story. It's just that it's something it's something you already seen before from other stuff. So it's not really original, and it makes the movie kind of predictable as well, too. It doesn't take away your enjoyment of the film, but it's just that you kind of know where it's going to go. And once you, once you, once you get the idea, and the, once you see the look of it, even the style kind of matches a little bit of How to Train Your Dragon in that world. I feel like, I feel like it's part of the, the DreamWorks How to Train Dragon universe, only instead of dragons, it's just sea creatures. But again, because of these things, because of the tropes you have seen before, it doesn't take away your enjoyment of the film. Also, some like some things that happen in here that don't have no like consequence to it. It, 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 it had the captain who felt as though he lost somebody who he felt as though was his son, trying to get revenge recently with this with this, um, this woman who everybody's scared of, and because they're trying to treat her like maybe she maybe she maybe she might be a witch or not. I don't I don't know. It's kind of hinting at it, but it doesn't really say for sure. Mm. And then I just and it feels as though if she worked if he works, if he works alongside her, he's gonna have to pay a price. But he doesn't really pay anything, really. It's like it's just, nothing really happens, no consequences, nothing. So it's just, why build it up if it's not going to show anything? Also, I just, when you find out the truth about the secrets not being evil, you don't really know why they come after, it was going after him in the first place. Like, you don't know why they were trying to kill him. Like, why would they bother him? Why they feel like they had to go out to the sea and kill these creatures? For what reason? Were they just scared of them? Do they have like, like healing properties to them that can help, that can help, us, help mankind? Is it just for money? Like what? Like what is it about these creatures that make you say we gotta kill them? And they weren't. They weren't bothering you. So I, I, I don't understand. Like what caused the war in the first place? You never really go into that. So that's that. So let's move into the good stuff. The good part is the animation in here is actually done quite well. I really enjoyed it a whole lot. The visual effects in here looks quite beautiful. And like I said, it has a very DreamWorks feel to it that I, that I really did enjoy. I enjoyed the, the actual characters in here, even though I didn't agree with a lot of things they were doing a lot of times. You understand where they're coming from and why they're doing it in the first place. And I really like the look and the design of all the characters. The voice acting was done quite well. And I thought it had a pretty much a good story. Like I said, it had some 
holes in here, a little places here, but overall, I did enjoy the story as well too. I thought the child actor who did the voice, I mean, I mean, the person who did the voice, amazing, did an amazing job. And, I, and as a character, the child character, she wasn't. She didn't come off annoying as well. She didn't come off annoying. You get sometimes you get a child actress in here, I guess an adult, and an adult is and always a, the child's always annoying. But it wasn't like that. I really did like the chemistry between both um, Jacob and Maisie. Watching them both bond over each, um, together because they both of them like lost parents, like during this whole the whole entire war against the sea, the sea creatures, and both and I understand the motivation as well. But at the same time, both of them willing to like to see the truth instead of just, just following things blindly. I did enjoy that as well too. Like, like I said, you, you you know where this movie is going to go, how it's going to end, but I but I still had fun watching it, and I enjoyed the story as a whole. And if, and if it, if it come up with a, with a sequel, I actually would watch. Out, I'm looking forward to see it. If it, if it, if it, if it actually goes in that direction, like a, like a Holly Train Your Dragon has like a, um three movies from this. I actually I actually would, would watch it, but it, it might not. But the way it ended, it, it ended with a, with a nice story. It can end here, or it can, it can go on some more. I really enjoyed that, and I, I, and I also enjoyed how the creatures and how they look. Each sea creature had, had their own look and their own different style to them as well too. Something that looks familiar to other things, like a, like a combination, like, a, like the one we, the main sea creature we follow, kind of looks like a, a little bit of a seal, a little bit, but and a dragon had a baby. One looked like a, a warrior, and one looked like a, like a little bit of a, of a crab. So, and, so I had a lot of different. Each creature had their own design, their own different look. I really didn't enjoy that as well too. Like I said, it was like it was like how to train your dragon. So, fun movie. I think I think kids can enjoy this. Um, parents can enjoy this too. You watch it with them. I think you have, you have fun watching it. I think it's a great, a solid great. I'm giving it a solid B. I'm giving it a solid B. But the thing I work for is check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shut bam, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Also, links down below can I show on my social media. You want to follow me there? Thank you. And also to my store where I sell merch, t-shirts, masks, pillows, bags, whatever socks. Check it out. Check it out for yourself. See something you like, buy something. I really would appreciate it, and thank you. Like I always say, in my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.